watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a fan favorite. I have Paul Engel from Brockton Public Library. Hey, Hello, Paul, Mark. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. End of this. End of the summer, I don't really want to say that too loud because uh. we go all the way to <laughs> September 20th. So we'll, we'll say it's close. Yeah. We're in August. Dog days. Um, scaffolding just down at the library, the it, pointing is done? It's wrapping up, yeah. The, um, they're taking the scaffolding down as we speak. Um, the pointing is done. Now they're working on rebuilding the front stairs the, to, the main li to the main entrance of the uh, Main Street entrance. The line. original grand entrance. Yes. So Which for years new. was closed up until we renovated the library and we reopened it. That's oh, really? where the card catalogs used to be. Wow. When I worked there. Wow. So cool. the library, 1912, 1913, depending on which date you go by, there's a, co there's a cornice that mm -hmm. actually has it. It was a Car Carnegie Library yeah. or Carnegie, however you say it. <laughs> okay, and it was small. It had closed stacks. Mm -hmm. And then in 2003, I think, yes. we added 48,000 square feet on the yeah, back yeah. and put in open stacks, put in, uh, we changed, we had an auditorium, now we have a big open atrium, mm -hmm. uh, nice great staircase, a great staircase. <laughs> yeah, and we got brought the music man in <laughs> to help us have accomplish that. We have music there, we have poetry yep, there, yep. but the, the front of the library looked a little haggard and that's why we did the brick. Repointing. Yeah, I mean, pointing, repointing the brick means basically waterproofing the outside of the building, and that saves you a lot of headache down the road. You know, when, when water does get behind the brick, doesn't mold up, doesn't cause problems with the interior, like the, the that beautiful WPA mural. Right. It, it, it helps protect all of that beautiful stuff inside. Which we renovated and fixed when we did the renovation, but if we hadn't gone the next step to do the pointing, we would be in trouble. We would fix the, 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 the skylights yep. as well, and uh, there's always something to do. Even though oh, sure. it's a new building, that part wasn't new. Right. Okay. Yeah. All old buildings have to be repointed at yeah. some point or another. So good work, glad it's done. Uh, we p paid for that out of state aid? Yes. Okay, state aid is money that comes to the Brockton Public Library uh, if, as long as you're certified and you spend a certain amount of money to maintain the exactly, library. Exactly, yes. Okay, you and I go over all those numbers all the time. <laughs> and then the other good news is um, when we went to renovate the main library back in that, that time period, Tom Kennedy was our state representative. Yes. Then he became a state senator. Then, of course, he unfortunately passed away at a fairly early age. Tom was a champion for Brockton. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jerry Cassidy was his aide. Jerry Cassidy is now a state representative, and Jerry helped us get funding so we could put a beautiful new sign mm -hmm. at the main branch library. Yes, definitely. And then the really good news is the library, we, 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 we kept Brockton Public Library mm -hmm. in it, but it's the Thomas P. Kennedy Jr., I think, main branch. Okay? And Tommy lived on Winthrop Street, around okay. the corner. Yep. The Mary Cruz Kennedy Center is named after his mother, wow. and he really advocated for our library. He, 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 when we got money veto, he said, no, 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 we're getting it back. And he fought tirelessly, because he actually couldn't get into our library. It That's was not ADA handicapped accessible. Yeah. So Tommy loved the library, and we got the money through Tommy to renovate, and now we got the money through Jerry, so it does not cost the residents and taxpayers nope. of the city of Brockton anything. That's right. Because it's a, like a capital project, and it's expensive. We're going to have a nice sign. It's going to look nice. Yep. Um, if anybody's ever near Canton, mm -hmm. they have a sign that looks just like it. Yep. That's kind of where we borrowed the idea from, <laughs> right? We're using the same vendor. <laughs> right. There you go. So... That'll be coming sometime in the fall. Yeah, we had to go through the process of getting the uh, appropriate uh, approvals and, and, and all that stuff, and that's all done. So we're just waiting for a certain period of time before they can start. Right. And as soon as the city notifies the, the company, they will begin uh, breaking ground in that sign. And we'll do a, yeah, we'll do a little ribbon get cutting. Get the civil and, shovels yep. and the hard hats, and yeah, we'll then someone else will do all the hard work. That's, yeah. Right? <laughs> exactly. So the library is a happening place all it summer is. long. It is. You guys have had uh, summer series that have gone on. We're going to talk about at least three of them. Mm -hmm. And we're heading towards the end of August. We're in the middle of August now. Let's promote each one of them. So the first all one right. that's coming up is on, I'm going to look at my little calendar here because... Uh, the date is August 23rd. It's a Friday. It's a, okay, it's Friday. Yep. There we go. 
I know what the 24th is because it's my birthday, but oh, um, yeah. Friday is the, far, uh, the farmer's market that the library's been involved with all summer long. All summer. This is our second summer doing this. We, okay. we, we uh, sponsor uh, children's programming at the farmer's market from 11 till noon every Friday. And uh, this Friday, and I believe the 30th is the last one, right? Right. Yeah, so this Friday, the 23rd, we have, um, who do we have? The Bubble, the Bubble Guy is coming. He's a, he, he's a lot of fun. I, 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 to this, fr this Friday, I get to go down and hang out and represent the library. And You're going to be blowing I'm, Bubbles' bubble. Yeah, I will. <laughs> bubbles are fun. I think I know the Bubble Guy if it's the same Bubble Guy. Yeah. It's kind of like Santa Claus. It's a well-kept secret mm -hmm. if we... If I reveal his identity, he'll have to kill me. That's right. So, so we don't want to do that. Bubble Guy, 11 to noon, Farmer's Market, and that is at the library? At, no, that's over at City Hall, in, okay. in the, um, in, at the, in the outside City Hall. So we talked about the first things too much. I got okay. three minutes, so <laughs> three let's minutes. go through okay. the next one. Saturday the 24th is Coffee and Code in partnership with Code Connect from 10 to noon. Yes. Again, Code, part Code, of a series? Yeah, part of a series. We've been doing it all summer, Code Connect actually started in the library and right. now they branched out and we're re -ba back with them again, uh, partnered up for, for events and we're going to keep uh, working with them. Okay, we're going to skip the community backpack giveaway because right. I brought on, on Tito's, Rigoberto yeah. Tito to talk about it. That's the 26th, that's <laughs> a Monday night. The 30th, we have Friday night, Teen Summer Reading Club Celebration. That's right, we, we had, for the first time that I know of, we had a Teen Summer Reading Club and they are wrapping up their reading club. They had a great summer. They've read a lot of great books and we're having some pizza for them. And yeah, it's just gonna be a nice event. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Farmer's Market again on the 30th, also on the Friday earlier in the day. That's 11 to noon, Mr. Vinny's Puppets. Yes, Mr. Vinny's Puppets that will be at the Farmer's Market. Okay, and uh, then the last but not least, Friday the 30th again, Summer Red Bag Club Playgroup. That's a mouthful. Yes, it is. But what it is, is it's for birth to six years old. Mm -hmm. And we give them these red bags with all sorts of stuff in it. And they can do crafts. We do story times with them. And we get them reading. Basically, it's, a, it's, a, it's an example of, of, of uh, getting kids reading very, very early. And we've partnered up with... Um, a couple of groups, a Boston one, what's the Boston one? Raising Martin. a Reader? <laughs> yeah, Raising a Reader uh, of Massachusetts, and we also have the uh, Family, Family and, and com Community Engagement. Uh, of Brockton, so we have a local group, and we have a, a statewide group that have partnered up with us on that one. Well, nothing better than learning how to read, starting at an early age, right. working with kids. Um, my kids are all grown up, but back in the day, that was my favorite thing in the world to do. Yeah. I used to love to be read to, so I did it. And I would encourage everyone to do it. That's the lifelong learning. That's exactly right. And since we're the People's University, yep. we are, it makes sense. Yep. Right? We are the lifelong learning institution. You know, <laughs> it, it, it was always it's always fun to be involved at the library. So um, website, phone number, like we always do? www.brocktonpubliclibrary.org, 508-580-7890. Uh, and you can find the hours, you can yep. find, everything find everything you, you want. City of Brockton just rolled out a new website. The library is on there. Yep. So if you don't know how to get to the library, go to City of Brockton mm -hmm. and you will find the library. Just click on departments and the library will come yes, up. Yes. So keep doing what you're doing, Paul. Thank you, sir. Tell all those wonderful staff over there. We always appreciate what they do for the community <laughs> and we'll bring you back in September and we'll talk about September. Events. All right. Okay. Look forward to it. Thanks. Pleasure. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.